What's up Jones Bones? It is your girl Unitedly Random and this is a big update. I really don't know when I'm going to post this on my channel but I thought I'd go ahead and record where I am standing right now in this moment. Um, this is going to be the first time that I kind of will be holding back on sharing something because it's not information like was well, the information directly uh, pertaining to me. You guys know I'm a vulnerable girly, but this is gonna be the first time that I'm sharing something without sharing like all of the details. So I hope that you guys understand, but uh, Aaliyah is starting to learn that she cannot just share everything. A lot of things I will just continue to share, but this is just one of those things that I'm gonna choose not to share as much about, okay? It was at this moment that he knew. He f***ed up. Um, I'm pretty sure none of you guys noticed, but recently I have started to not delete, but minimize photos with me and my husband Stu. Um, for those who don't know, I've been living overseas in China for about a year and I signed that contract to stay another year. Um, and without going into many details, um, you guys know that Stu visited me in December, if you haven't seen the video. That time that Stu was here um, was 10 days, I believe. And during that time, we had very long conversations. We didn't go around traveling and do couple-y things. Um, we did eat. You know, you got to do that every day. Um, and he did help me move into my new apartment, which um, I don't know if you guys already have a video of me showing off my new apartment. Um, but yeah, he was there. It was helpful. We had conversations. And we come to a... Uh, a, a the same place in which we had decided to like legit get a divorce okay now a lot of people could have been like they seen it coming i think that me and Stu just are very different people and that's where i'm gonna leave it uh at the end of the day for those who do know about us being um poly i don't believe that poly was the issue i have a lot of people tell me to my face and blah 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 that um poly is the reason why my relationship ended no but then again i can't say no for sure for sure because my entire relationship we have been Polly in some way when me and Stuart started dating um around the time that I got, got pregnant we were Polly at that time so it's always been kind of like a part of our relationship but um again without going into too many details um you guys have known that I've had many conversations about this online and I've cried my tears and I felt my feelings and I always would be like I'm done but I couldn't quite walk away. Um, and I told Stu um, that if he ever came to me and said divorce, I would definitely agree with it. I wouldn't try to fight it or anything. And like when, I, when I've come to Stu and I've said divorce, which we've been married for about four years, um, I've pretty much been saying divorce for like the, the entirety of the relationship. It was just things that I saw that I was uh, unsure of how he could fix. It was things that I saw and I was unsure about how I could fix. And there were certain things that were going on where it was just like, you know, it's not that we don't love each other. And every time you want to say divorce, everyone's like, oh, do you guys not love each other? It's not that. It's not that I want him out of my life and I never want to be around him. It's not that. And so when confronting the idea where I was like, hey, we really got married so he could go to school. And he went to school and he's recently graduated. And I was at a time when we got married and we were together, I was very codependent. And now I'm overseas in China living by myself, not as codependent. We're not able to support each other in the way that we used to support each other, which kind of makes our relationship 
I wouldn't say useless, but it makes it kind of like, okay, we're just staying together for convenience sake. And realistically, we are still together for a convenience sake. I haven't changed my name back. We haven't signed any papers, but we have communicated very effectively to each other that this is the end. When I go back to America, the papers will be getting signed. Um, the reason that we're putting off signing these paperwork is because um, I don't know how much you guys know about how Stoom's mom died right before I came to China. I did a video vlog about his mom dying. I was more open about it on TikTok, but it was a time of mourning for the whole family. And there was the iffiness about Stuart's in-laws that was making it a really hard time for me. Um, and I didn't want to make the whole conversation about me during that time. It's been a while since that situation, but uh, I'm here to tell you that uh, we went down to help settle the mom's estate and clean up and get things ready. And um, Stuart's brother like, was like, you know, I don't even know why Aaliyah came and she's not wanted here and her YouTube channel is shit. And I was like, have you ever watched my YouTube channel? And he was like, no, but my wife's watched your YouTube channel and she always tells me about how much of a shit it is. Um, yeah, it was like that, okay? Nothing I could do. I didn't blow up. I just kind of stayed quiet. People on TikTok know about it. But it was just like, everywhere I go, there is a problem with me. But I don't think I'm really the problem. Realistically, um, because this is the same person who wouldn't tell her husband where his mother was because I was around. She was mad that I was there, so she wouldn't tell her husband where his mother's body was, right? Um, and it was just all of that. Me and Stu, we had the deep conversation. I was like, I'll stay if you need me to stay. And he was like, no, go enrich your life. Um, and before I left, I told him, hey, I'm going to be working on myself back at, uh, in China. You got to work at, on yourself back at home. And there were certain things that I said we should put in place. We still continued the open relationship and stuff like that. We were continuing it on the, um, guise of it being completely honest and open. You know what I mean? Um, and again, not going into too many details, something happened, I found out, there wasn't the honesty that I felt that I wanted. Shit, I just, I'm giving all the details. And I think that it was also like the time away from each other, not really communicating as much as I need communication to be. If I want a relationship with someone, uh, really did affect the relationship. I have always said from the beginning that I didn't want to have a marriage like some of the people that I've seen where it's just like, this person really, really bothers me, but we're gonna stay together because we love them, we love each other. Like, some people are like, if it's not completely broken, you don't need to try to fix it. But for me, and wanting to be a mother and wanting that family, I was like, I don't wanna have this situation where I have to question if I'm in love with the father of my child and I really do want children. And you know, it, it was really hard to walk away from that relationship because Stu is my only tie to America. Um, if you guys don't know, I cut my family out of my life a while back, um, right around when me and Stu were first getting together. And Stu was really my ride or die. Like when I was so depressed that I couldn't get out of bed and go to work, Stu was putting my clothes on and dropping me off at work. There was a lot um, of support that he gave me during that time. And that, that was, that was definitely needed. That kept me alive and uh, it put me in a position where I can be who I am now, which is happy and I've grown a lot. And you know, when he was here, I still, it was funny cause I still reverted to like relying on him for so much. Like he was doing everything and I was going to work, but I don't need him to be here. I can do it too, you know? Um, and I just thought, you know, we should, 
we should be nicer to ourselves. Even though we love each other, being not married doesn't mean that we don't love each other. And heck, if we get years down the line and say, you know what? We still love each other and I can get past like the hot headedness of being young and wanting to be understood in the way that I want to be understood, which re realistically, am I ever going to be understood in the way that I want to be understood? I don't know. Um, but if I can ever get over that and just, you know, okay, Aaliyah, like maybe that was your vanity. Maybe that was your pride being hurt. Um, if I can ever get over that pride or I can ever get over that vanity of just wanting to be understood and loved in a certain way that I, I can feel it. Um, maybe we'll work out and maybe over time he'll mature into someone that I can love without saying you have to change this about yourself and you have to change that about yourself. Cause I really hated doing that. Uh, it didn't put me in my soft girl era at all. I felt like, like a masculine woman always raining on his parade, angry black women. And I didn't love that for me. Um, so now we are on a different saga. Uh, I got on the scale today. I'm the smallest that I've ever been. I'm 113 kgs. Um, today is December. It's, in, it's still in December. Like literally he left. And then I was like, December 19th. Um, the wild thing is his mom, his mom's birthday was December 18th. And he's going home today. And like, I didn't even, I didn't even tell him, you know, like, I didn't ask him how he's feeling. When he, when he arrives, I'll reach out to him. He is my friend and I do, I do love Stuart. That's without a doubt. Like, I don't know what the future holds. Usually when I break up with people, they dissolve out of my life. And even though Stuart said he wouldn't, you know, uh, Afro boy said he wouldn't. So that is that worry. Um, I don't regret being married to Stuart. I really don't regret being married to Stuart because, um, he will say that I made him a better person and I will say that he made me a better person. But there's one thing that he pointed out. Um, I always said Stu made me a better person, but Stu responded to that and he said, you know, you made me a better person personality wise. And when you say I made you a better person, you're talking about your ability to leave home and you're talking about your ability to like be to have like that support. But like, how have I made you a better person, like personality wise? And I felt like personally, I felt like I was becoming a worse person personality wise. I would always like get moody and snap and like through talking and just being like okay our marriage is like legit over and me just being like yeah it's over it's it's really over I the anger and the resentment I think that I was unconsciously holding towards Stu it just kind of like went away and mind you like it was like the first day we had the conversation and then I went to work and I cried like six different times like bust out crying six different times that day but the anger and the resentment and it was like a it was a breath of fresh air and I didn't know how much I really needed that um I love Stuart and I will forever love Stuart um but um it's so weird. Like, I don't know how to, like, you guys are going to be like, Aaliyah, you're cringe. But we had a moment where we were talking and I played the video, like, uh, what's love got to do with it? And this was his first time seeing the video, despite him saying that he watches my videos. This is his first time legit watching the video. And I was like, I've been saying the same thing for way too long. Like... I've been saying the same thing about this relationship for way too long. And like, he finally heard me and it was like, wow. And then it was kind of like, there was, there was different moments. Like he finally heard me. I accepted it. I was sad. And then I had the anger. I legit went through the stages of grief. Like, like this is like legit, legit. Like, 
I love him. I hope that we can still continue to be in each other's lives. He said we would. I know I would still show up. I know that I would still be there, but I can't really say it for other people. But, oh yeah, as of right now, the reason I brought up my in-laws earlier, that's the reason why we didn't just hurry up and sign the papers. Because I believe that if something were to happen to Stu, um, I would not be invited to his uh, wedding. Our shared things that we have in America would go in the trash and I would be isolated in that way from Stu. Because even though we had we are talking about divorce and we're talking about separating. We're separating on good terms, but because of his family's dislike of me, I think that that would become a problem. Um, me moving all the way to China isn't the reason that my relationship ended. Us being poly isn't the reason that our, my relationship ended. The relationship was already something that we were holding on to for too long. We held on to it, wanting it to work, but it wasn't going to work. Not in the way that we needed it to work. Like sure, it would have been enough for Stu, but it wasn't enough for me. And I don't know if I will ever find what is enough for me, you know? I hope that I could find it and I hope that I find it in time to have a family and there's so many things that I want for my future and I still love Stu. I just don't know. Um, but I do have a job. I have a roof over my head. And today was a period day. I was in a pain all day, but I got up and I recorded and I feel fine. And that's, that's the little things, you know? That was the longest relationship that I've been in. Um, and I'm happy that I had that relationship with Stu. Um, I don't regret it. I don't regret the things that I've been through. I don't regret anything. I'm just happy. Like, I'm legitimately happy. I'm happy here and now, and I'm happy in a way that I wasn't happy back at home. This is home now, and I don't know what the future is gonna hold, but hopefully it has strong hands, cause my boobs are big. <laughs> I wanted to make some joke, but uh, this is the life of your girl, Unitedly Random, and uh, the the real life emotions of like a relationship not quite working out. Uh, Stu can always pop up on the channel. Stu can always be here. He always has a space in my heart. And hopefully he can always be my friend. And maybe one day he could be the best man that walks me down the the freaking aisle to my next wedding that I hope doesn't end in a divorce. <laughs> but yeah. Um that's that's it all. I, you know, I said I wasn't going to go into too much details, but 18 minutes later, we have pretty much the entire story. If you have any questions, you can leave them down below. But your girl is, like, legit Consider me single and ready to mingle. But honestly, I don't really have the time to be mingling with people. I'm trying to get this. I still want to be a YouTuber. I still want to be a stay-at-home mom. So <laughs> I'm trying to get this ready. You know, I'm trying to... My, look, y'all, I might look a little shiny. Like, this camera has a automatic beauty filter, okay? So my skin ain't that smooth, but uh, I haven't turned it off yet. <laughs> so just, just appreciate. Just appreciate the view um but yeah i moved and y'all probably already see the video around and whatnot um but yeah until next time yeah. like and subscribe if you haven't already uh positive vibes i try to think like what do i usually say uh positive vibes i'm gonna go eat some barbecue and i'm not in pain anymore so i'm gonna look at some youtube videos and edit some youtube videos and just Let's go. The end of the year is coming.